This is Tiafimo Lopez after his very controversial win over Sandor Martin. Which left many onlookers to believe if Tia Fimo still had what it took to become boxing's best. Join me today as we go through what has happened to Tia Fimo Lopez. This is not the first time and certainly won't be the last time that we see such a talented boxer such as Tia Fimo Lopez have the entire world at his hands and seemingly fail to capitalise on their immense success. Tia Fimo Lopez has gone from a boxer who is considered to be the next future pound for pound great after masterful displays against Richard Comey and Vasily Lomachenko in which he would capture all the marbles in the lightweight division to someone who is being likened to Adrian Broner, a fighter who showed so much promise in the early stages of their career only to rapidly fall by the wayside and not fulfil their lofty potential. Teofimo Lopez would burst onto the scene as a 10-0 prospect following a flawless start to his boxing career as he would announce himself to the world stage by wiping out veteran boxer Mason Menard with a knockout of the year contender. lands a right hand and he comes out wailing away with a big right hand and a good combination. In his next fight, Lopez would begin to get his recognition from some of boxing's major organisations as he was in the top 15 of the WBA, WBC and the WBO rankings. Lopez in his next fight go on to smoke the highly regarded boxing veteran Diego Magdaleno which ended in another brutal knockout win for Lopez. Lopez's winning streak would continue as he improved to 13-0 with a 5th round knockout over former world title challenger Edis Tatley before being moved into a IBF final eliminator against the unbeaten Japanese boxer Masao Washi Akatiani. Lopez would go on to dominate their contest picking up a wide unanimous decision victory over his Japanese opponent. This win would ultimately set up Tiafimo's first crack at a world title when he faced off against the hard-hitting Ghanaian Richard Comey for the IBF lightweight championship of the world. But it would be Tiafimo's power which would show through in their fight as he would shock the world by knocking Comey out in the second round following a devastating over right hand. The promoter of Tiafimo Lopez, Bob Adam, knew he had a superstar Lee on top of the world. Lopez would have his back and forth against the WBC champion Devin Haney over an undisputed fight. In the meantime, Lopez would move on to his mandatory challenger in the Australian boxer George Cambosis, who came off back-to-back -back victories over former world champions Lee Selby and Mickey Bay. The fight would look to be a formality as Lopez would send Cambosis down to the canvas in the very first round before Cambosis would adapt his style to lure Lopez into a slugfest which resulted in Cambosis returning the favour in the 12th round 
round when he would drop Lopez, resulting in Lopez losing his titles via split decision. Lopez would make the jump to light welterweight, in which he has had two very underwhelming performances at £140, leaving many fans to question how he is in line for a fight against the former undisputed and unbeaten light welterweight champion Josh Taylor. As in the fight against Martin, the Spaniard would have Lopez on the canvas yet again and had Tiafimo hurt on multiple occasions, with many fans and pundits believing that Martin did enough to come away with the win. So the big question is, what is needed for Tiafimo to return to his best? Does he need to drop his dad and move to a new trainer to get his head right, or are we just witnessing the tale of another failed talent unfold in our eyes? The takeover! Spread of 97-92 for Tiafimo Lopez on that last score that we heard read, and you hear a very lukewarm decision.